I'm Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. Shameless plug time. If you are going to be in either Houston or Atlanta, Patrick and I will be at the Power Platform World Tour. Houston is February 4th and 5th, and then Atlanta is the week after that on the 11th and 12th. We will be keynoting along with presenting other sessions. So if you're in the area or your you know, surrounding area, come on down, we'd love to see you. If you're following us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Christopher Wagner's got a blog post talking about custom themes inside of Power BI or even using the default themes that are there. There was an update with Power BI recently where they've overhauled the actual themes that come with Power BI. If you're using the new Office ribbon inside of Power BI Desktop, that is a preview feature. Be sure to enable that. You will see an updated themes area, which gives you like a full selection of themes. Christopher also has a Power BI Desktop file that you can download and test your themes with. I think this is an awesome idea. I love it. You can actually validate, you know, what is your theme going to look like across across different visuals. He's put that together for you. It is a great resource. Be sure to try that if you are using a custom theme or you just wanna see what the built-in themes look like with different visuals without having to create a whole report. So Christopher, great job. Thanks for throwing that out there for the community. Links as always down below. The folks over at CSG Pro have put together a video series for report interaction. How do you use reports? So it's a couple of videos to walk you through kind of tutorials on how to do this. I do agree the whole area of report consumption is kind of lacking in the content space. So that's actually something Patrick and I are working on. We're gonna get more videos out here on Guy in a Cube for that. But this is a great place to go start and to figure that out if you're just using Power BI. You're not creating reports, you're not administering Power BI, you just wanna use it, which is the majority of people using Power BI. So this is a great resource if you wanna go and learn more about how to do that. Daniel Glenn's got a video for you looking at the new self-service purchase items inside of Office 365 or Microsoft 365. As of January 15th, this is available for Power BI, where if you're just a regular user, you can just go buy your own Power BI Pro license as part of Office 365. You don't need to go to your administrators and do all of that. So Daniel walks through what it is for the entire Power Platform and how do you kind of manage that from an admin perspective. So I think this is very cool in terms of, you know, at least maintaining some control from an admin perspective, or if you choose to let users just go ahead and do that, that's cool. Either way, Daniel's got you covered. Links as always down in the description below, along with links to all the items in this week's roundup, including some bonus items and a secret link. Go check it out. Are you headed over to the Microsoft Business Application Summit? Normally I'd reserve this type of blog post to the bonus section just to leave more actionable stuff in the video itself. However, there was a change to the date and location for Business Application Summit, so I just wanna you know, amplify and get that word out so people are aware of that. It was going to be in Anaheim, California on April 20th and 21st. It has been moved to May 6th and 7th, which is a Wednesday, Thursday instead of a Monday, Tuesday in Dallas, Texas. And no, I had no decision in where it went, although, yay, Texas. So if you were planning to come in April to Anaheim, California, you're gonna need to change your plans and head over to Dallas, Texas in early May. And I already know some of you are headed over the comments right now to talk about, you know, you've gotta change plans and you've already booked flights. I get it, I totally get it. And yeah, it's, it's a thing. Patrick and I always have fun at the Microsoft Business Application Summit. We are both going to be there. It's gonna be a great time. My only issue with this is, why couldn't we shift it a day earlier so that the pre-day that myself, Patrick, Phil Seamark, and Matthew Roach are gonna be doing would have landed on May the 4th? Star Wars? Okay. Anyway, hope to see you there. For all you admins and premium capacity admins out there, there is a new update to the premium capacity metrics app. I always get that wrong. I always say premium metrics capacity app, which is just kind of weird. There were some updates in this release to some of the metrics. So I know like some of the refresh stuff got updated and some other items, but the bigger thing in this is when you start the app, you're going to be in an area which gives you kind of a high level overview. The idea being that it's going to try and help you spot where the potential problem is and to help you discover why that is. As I always tell customers, it's 
look, it's not gonna be a smoking gun, right? It's not gonna say this is your problem, but it's gonna go a long way to help you figure out what that is, right? And to end, you know, just to go look at a given data set or a given workspace to figure out, you know, kind of what's going on. You are gonna have to do some work. That's true with any type of troubleshooting type of operation. I love that they've released this app. There are some updates in it, which are definitely helpful for you. If you're trying to troubleshoot, they're gonna continue to pump out those updates as well. So stay tuned for that and keep giving them feedback on what it is you need. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What was your favorite item this last week? Maybe it was something I mentioned, maybe it was something I didn't. Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.